Good evening everybody, Sawyer Anderson here again today, back with some Age of Empires, the Babylonian Civilization. Uh, this is not the newest civilization, it's been out for probably close to a week and a half now, but due to work I have been unable to release them until Friday, which is why one didn't come out Wednesday. And due to other things that I may or may not get into on this video, but let's uh, start off from right here. Babylon is being torn asunder by petty lords and civil unrest. The worst is the would-be king, Mirodach. His every word is drenched in lies and his smiles hide daggers. He has hired Egyptian mercenaries to invade our lands and is forcing the common people to bend a knee to his will. You will be our sword to cut through his web of lies. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, what's the other mission? Oh, emissary to Ergos. Uh, don't need to worry about that right now. However, we're going to start on his defiance. Uh, so the plan I intend to do is there's only the one Babylonian mission. However, there is a Babylonian expansion. And I'll be playing through the Babylonian uh, expansion with the Babylonian civilization. So that'll be like their storyline. And then on to uh, details about the project. Currently, I'm not 100% sure about certain details in the project. This is partly due to uh, a misunderstanding in the server a couple weeks ago. So I haven't had uh, access to the server for a while. And I'm not 100% sure if my invite links work still. If... Uh, I'll leave one down in the description of this video, however, if it doesn't work, feel free to contact me here on YouTube, and I'll get somebody on the server to get me a link to send to you guys. Uh, and that's kind of why I've also been a little slow on videos. I was temporarily banned from the Age of Empires server for toxicity, supposedly. Supposedly, I was too toxic for the server. So, I'm banned for, I think, at the time of this video, at about another week. So, while we're waiting on that, I'm going to play through the Babylonians and hopefully no patch comes. Because I won't be able to patch the game without... Well, I can patch the game. I can have somebody... Some of my brands on the server to send it to me so uh, but other than that let's get on to a description of how the Babylonians work so as you guys can see currently they seem to heavily favor cavalry we have lancers we have chariots and it's just it's all that stuff but these are the cavalry and economic boom civilization they can produce massive amount of resources and massive amounts of cavalry with ease and they have some of the strongest cavalry in the game just as the celtics have the strongest infantry the persians have the strongest archers it's uh always good to try to use cavalry at when fighting as the babylonians and then they also have unique units such as their shield bearers, which are very good when assaulting bases because they absorb a ton of pierce damage. They also absorb a ton of infantry damage. As you can see, they were getting slaughtered by the swordmen, who their entire job is anti-infantry. So they were able to hold them off quite well. Something that makes... Uh, them unique in that regard how many farms is there for is that they have instead of storehouses they have ox carts which is very very good ox carts are movable uh, resource deposit points essentially so instead of having to build a uh, storehouse every couple of uh, feet you can just have the ox cart follow them aw uh, away 
and figure out what you want to do from there. The only big con to them is they lack severe amount of siege. They have two siege units. Well, technically three siege units. You have your siege tower and you have your sapper siege infantry. The other one that they have is the palatron from the fortress, which everybody has access to. So they are slightly lacking in a uh, siege. Why did he move? Why did you decide to just go? Oh. There we go. Babylonians, uh, me personally, I think was my second favorite civilization. Out of all of the civilizations, they are one of two that have the best turtle strategies. The first one being the Egyptians and then the second one being the Babylonians. However, I believe the Babylonians just trump uh, the Egyptians in power. So. That's always good. I have a market. I do indeed have a market. Oh, and yeah, they also have their gardens, which reduce training and research time and also provide a steady amount of food. So not only do you have food coming from the gardens, you also have food coming from the farms. Let's see. And then you they have all of their amazing techs. Which again are mostly geared towards cost and building. But if you get arithmetic added with what is it? Uh, Mason Builder. That's what? 75? That's actually probably like a 100% reduction if you had like a uh, epic tier. One of him. Oh. That's always nice. We need more houses. think we're gonna have a problem with plenty of room to build these types of houses have them build those what I actually want to do I actually want to collect wood Can actually sell off some of my stone to purchase that wood then we'll go ahead and build us a second town center get us that 20 population and increase our villager output because right now they're not attacking us well I said they weren't attacking us and then we've got a smoking uh, warehouse so that's obviously not true did I say smoking warehouse? I mean a uh, smoking guard house. <laughs> uh, as you guys can probably tell, I'm not 100% focused on the game right now, partly due to uh, a bunch of stuff. College is about to start up, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to keep up with uh, certain series. I'm hoping to keep this series up until at least the end of the Norse campaign. And then there, it'll slightly slow down, because I can probably get it all recorded before the 28th starting date of this semester for my college work. And then, um, after that, let's see, the Age of Empires 3 series should be ending here relatively soon as well. Which ultimately leaves me to finish up the Far Cry 2 series, which I have neglected due to uh, past semester, upcoming semester, and other issues. There we go. Get us some age 3 
get us some forts up. Hundred gold. I would accept him on that offer, but I've got at least another 40 minutes of recording before I accept any offers for co-op. 200 gold? Can we, yeah, can we get the gold needed to go? We're fighting. I want golden age. I could go as far as getting golden age. I don't think I need the golden age. You know what? I probably definitely don't need it. That's for certain. So we're gonna actually take y'all. While you're doing that. Because I want him to stop assaulting the base. But I want a good position. Uh oh. That seems like a perfect spot to set up a fortress. Ooh, do I have arithmetic? Damn, not quite yet. Need age four to get that arithmetic. Yeah, let's not run off and assault the base quite just yet. Don't have the needed resources to uh, hold those positions quite. If I run in there right now, I'd lose even with a, a, the massive amount of shield bearers that I have. A good amount of troops. So I'd like to get me some good siege up before doing anything too stupid. Let's see. What could I apply another five to? Yeah, we'll do five to them and why, why not? Another five to stone. All about that economic boom. Not really supplying gold, but... We, oh, we don't. There we go. Gonna need you to not attack them while they build that. Thank you. Yes, because I do need to get to age four. What do I need for age four? A thousand of everything except stone. So we'll start selling off our food supplies. And once you're done, we'll have to collect the remaining gold. Doing quite well at defeating these uh, here shield bearers. Ooh, also on a side note, guys. Uh, during a month, I do it kind of like quarterly. So every three months, I go through uh, my videos to check for improvements. And I realized that there was some popping noises. Uh, I believe I have found out the problem and this video should not have any. I will heavily inspect this video after this uh, for those noises and I apologize that they happened in the first place. These types of things tend to happen due to the massive length of my uh, recordings. It's, it's simply not viable to record and then listen to the one hour, two hour, uh, hour and a half long audio recordings. Simply because then I would get nothing out. Usually when I record, I binge record and I'll record three, four, five, six videos at a time, if possible. And only about, currently, only about three of those videos actually get released 
or something happens and I have to re-record those videos. So really, I'm only recording like three videos in the span of five hours. And then, let's say I have to inspect those three videos. That's still three more hours. So ultimately, you're looking at about eight hours just before you even start to edit. Then you have to edit your audio, edit your video recording, and then you have to beat YouTube's god-awful upload times. And you have to do all of that. And if you're somebody like me, who tries to do it on a schedule, you have to do all of that before your schedule ends. So, essentially, in this video, I have to do all of this before Friday. This video won't get rendered until probably Friday morning to, what is it? Yeah, Friday morning to Thursday night, and I'm recording this video Wednesday afternoon. So essentially I have 24, just say a day and a half, and it's going to just barely make the deadline as it is. So it is uh, just one of those things where you have to balance it with between all the different types of uh, work. And then hope nothing goes wrong during the process of the recordings and all of that. You know, it's always, always bad when uh, it gets to the point where you can't keep up with your schedule. Which is exactly why I told you guys before that I'm not 100% sure on how my channel will work. Uh, once the college semester starts. Uh, I'll try to keep the videos up. I'll try to do at least one a week. But even that might be sketchy. I know I also have a vacation coming up down to Mexico for a little bit. So I'll have to uh, either pre-record those and then put them out. Which depending on what I'm doing at the time, I may or may not be able to do. And then, yeah, it's just, there's a lot of fine details when you are recording, especially when I do this as a hobby and not professional. Do, do I want to do it professionally? Not really. Would I do it prof uh, professionally? Yes. And at some point I might, uh, for those of you who frequent my channel uh, regularly, I've mentioned that my college degree that I'm going for is computer science so it would be programming uh, internet security you know all those uh, hot about mid six figure paying jobs if you can get good like I think just coming out of college if you can find a job you're looking at ninety eight thousand dollars to a hundred and twenty thousand dollars which isn't a lot of money when you think about money, but it's still a decent chunk of change uh, compared to what people work, such as here in Alaska, where our minimum wage is 970 and most people only make 970. And yeah. So eventually I might decide to do this less as a hobby and more professionally but it would always be my computer science degree uh if i ever get a family it would be my family computer science my job and everything personal before this youtube channel which i think a lot of people i feel could relate to i hope they can relate to it would kind of be uh depressing to figure out that some people would put their YouTube channel before their actual lives which I can say for the average person if you put your YouTube 
uh, channel before your lives in the example of Markiplier or PewDiePie or somebody like that where their YouTube channel literally is their livelihood, then I don't see it as a big of an issue because their entire financial supply comes from that YouTube channel. So it's a bigger deal if it goes underwater. Where if mine, which as you guys know, doesn't make a lot of money anyway. I get less than a dollar with the views that I make currently. And I have a Patreon, but I don't beg people to uh, do anything with it. It's there just in case somebody wants to help me out. It's not there for, hey, help me out, or I can't do videos anymore. I can still do videos and all that, so. It's always one of those fine lines where Will I be able to do videos later in uh, in the future? It's just one of those things where you have to wait and see. Ultimately, though, I'm stating it here. If it comes down to my college or my family or anything like that, it would be them before this YouTube channel. So... Back to the actual game instead of that long rant I went on about YouTube channels. <laughs> uh, we're doing pretty good. We'll siege down those town centers before we arrive. Have a bunch of random troops there. Effective against infantry. So, all right, we'll have them go kill the lieutenants and Merodach or Mirodach, whatever you want to call them. Him. I feel it. Yeah, I feel like it would be Mirodach. I don't think he's going to live very long at all. There's a town center. Don't mind if I do. His lieutenants are dead and they are pummeling this guy. See if we can... Get these guys killed with the small force, and I don't have to bring my other force all the way uh, back. Nice, they killed him. That's always good. Looks like we're about to win here. Minimal losses. Oh, and I forgot to mention, guys, uh, the Babylonians, same as the Norse and the Persians, used to be a pro civilization, so they all start at level 20. So, this is literally the first mission that, uh, you start on. Ooh. Oh, got three chests. Anything good? Ooh, I'll hold on to that. Not a lot of good stuff, but I wasn't expecting a ton of good stuff anyway for such a uh, low quest. Speak with me. Yes, yes. Uh, I know you are quite happy. May the gods... Oh, man. Convert Calvary. What is this? Yeah, maximum range, why not? It's always good to add more range. Do I have advisors? I don't have shit. 
Oh man. That's terrible. Careful and those there. are the repeatable quests. So now we're going to go to the beautiful city of Babylon. I know the the hanging gardens used to be an ancient wonder. I can't remember if they still yeah, exist. Probably not. Um Welcome to Babylon, the jewel of the Uphorats. Uphoratis River, your arrival is much appreciated. There is much to be done if we are to ensure civil order in the city. Well. All right. Let us work together. All right. Median Raiders. The first order of business is to deal with the Median Raiders attacking our outposts. We don't know who is sending them, but our civil leaders, retired General Zhu and injure Engineer Farzana, have sent forces to investigate. Unfortunately, they refuse to get along with each other and are likely to die unless you help them with resources, aid them with resources, and administer a crushing blow to these raiders. Well. Sounds good. Is there anything in the general store I might use? Aww. Tend to not use consumables. Ooh, I might, we, this might be a three-parter. Or not a three-parter. What am I? Oh, Lord. I'm tired, guys. It's not... Not good at all. Alright. First order of business... Is... Wood. Alright, so the engineer core is trying their best. Trying to remember how I did this last time. Remember, I did it. I'm just not percent sure how I did it last. Let's see. So that's food they're working on. I'll need 500 wood. Okay. They're fighting there with the aid of guard towers, of course. As soon as they collect all the needed lumber, got enough to do. Now, instead of being dumb and harvesting berries, you're going to harvest huntables. Yeah, kill off as many of them nearby as possible. Oh god. We're gonna hightail it over here. Build us a market. They're protecting that, and they're gathering food. Amazing. There's that. I'll be right back, guys. I think somebody needs me to answer a question, so I'm going to mute my microphone here. All right, and I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. All 
All right, let's see how we're working here. And then back. I have to get some more forces here soon. Call in another five. So they're producing what? Five? Oh, they ripped apart the uh, wall. Oh no. I'm gonna need you to not do that. Alright, let me think here. There's stone over there, so we'll have them harvest the stone. Ah, yes. Real cheap. There's the handsaw for harvesting food. Eventually, somebody's gonna have to harvest gold. Do we even have gold? We do. We have a gold deposit. Oh, no population room. That can become a problem. Have them build the houses. We'll actually go ahead and build. Just for safety purposes. So they're trading gold. 95 gold, but it's still gold. Gold is gold. And we've got another five. Also going to want the tribute to uh, lower that down. Please don't destroy the base before I can send them what they need. He's totally going to go attack my, uh, market, isn't he? That's exactly what I needed, is some turd assaulting my market. Okay, he's not assaulting my market, that's good. We're actually gonna increase profits. What do we have? Old? I think we'll start with uh interesting. We'll start with General Zoo because he is gold. And then we'll deliver stone to our engineer. Oh god. You know what? If there's anything left at the end of this, we might need that gold a little bit sooner. Not gonna have enough. Knew it. No, come on, there we go. Alright, we need to send troops quick. How fast can I get stone? That's the question. If she can protect her own campsites once she has the needed stone. I think that's enough. Of course, it deploys them far away from the actual camp. 
would have been too easy. But we still have to protect the camp, however. They should now actively be building units. I don't know how many of my market people died. Counting five, nine. So there's ten still alive. They're probably not going to be alive much longer. these sappers off before they kill off my economy. Oh lord. Alright, let me think. And... Just get closer. There you go. Here's what I'll do. Shit, we're not age three. We need for age three. There's three, eight. So we have ten of them up. Let's get another ten or another five, not ten. Oh god. You better have some reinforcements, because here they come. He's banging on the wall for no reason. Gotta go see what they're doing. So. I'm gonna go figure out what they're doing real quick, guys. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave it here so that you guys can see the assaults. The, uh, as the fighting begins. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, and I am back, guys. Regardless of not, or regardless if uh, this is ended before the hour is up, I'm going to have to end the recording at the end of this mission. Because we have a, there's been a slight problem at work. And I have been called in, so I have to get over there as soon as I'm done. Because they called me in. I'm not scheduled to work. So they can wait until... Uh, I am done. Not sure why they called the main house line, though. I have my cell phone number. That's what that banging on the wall was for. Uh oh. What do we need for age four? Or the golden age? There we go. Uh, they might demolition the camp. Not sure why I had four over there.
Might as well send them to their death. They're not doing much of anything else where they're sitting. Alright, they actually got through pretty good, except those fortresses are going to devastate them. So, getting age five here in a minute. That doesn't sound. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Hmm, anyway. With the assistance of our allies, we'll strike down these fortresses and let them bust in. One less fort means they're able to get in much quicker. Than they would have originally with the forts sitting there. On another note, really should purchase some wood and stone and build up some more town centers. It's always good to try and max out your town centers, which I neglected in a lot of my other videos because one town center allows you to produce more villagers and gives you 20 population instead of the five from the house. So. Ooh, they had, I'm not gonna go for the chest since they called me into work. Plus at these uh, missions, they don't give too good of gear anyway. Once I hit up to level 30 and 40, I might. Take out those uh, barracks. Nice. 44, that's not too bad, I don't think. Only about 15 minutes short of what I usually do. Go ahead and return to the Quest City. Have much to Let's see. I knew that enlisting your help was a great idea. Please accept this reward for your efforts. Farewell. I like it. Anything good? Line of sight. Good, good, good. I'll sell the rest Let of that off. Work 
together. So your services are needed again. Engineer Farzana has a plan to deal with the Median raiders and insist that your help is essential. Please, please go speak with her. Her endless stream of ideas can be a bit much, but she has the city's best interests in mind. Till we meet again. We have much my apologies for earlier. General Zhu always makes me bear my claws. He's an old ox. Now, let me tell you this most brilliant idea I have for dealing with the Median Raiders. We well, we'll have to listen to her idea at the next time I uh, record. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I will leave a link down in the description so that you guys can join the Discord. As I said at the start of the video, I'm not 100% sure if the link I've been providing still works because as since I have been temporarily banned, it might have also banned my invites. If that is the case, feel free to contact me here on YouTube and I will contact somebody who can get me a link so I can get the link to you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys later.